So you know when you're in San Francisco, you might see some of this. The new king of this Fijian Sevens team. Look at him here. He showed speed to get on the outside, but just a pinpoint pass out the back door to Ravovo. Just the way he was able to dissect the defense, Nathungu. Or maybe even some of that. The little dab through. Kalite keeps the ball in play. How did she do that? Slight of hand from Polite sets up the score. But when you're not watching rugby, the city has a wide variety of areas to explore. One of the most distinctive is Fisherman's Wharf. Located in North Beach, Fisherman's Wharf is the traditional home of San Francisco's fishing fleet, which has evolved into a haven for humans and animals alike. Pier 39 opened on October 4, 1978, and it was developed by a serial entrepreneur, a man named Warren Simmons, who was an, a commercial airline pilot and, a, and a, a real estate developer, and also opened the first uh, nationwide chain of Mexican restaurants called Tia Maria. And in the 1970s, he was walking along the Embarcadero, this street right out front of Pier 39, one night, and found an unlocked door on an old cargo pier. And he walked out to the end of it, and saw this magnificent view that we have here and said to his wife, this would be a fantastic place for a Tia Maria restaurant. So he spent many years and a lot of money developing it. He got it open in October of 1978 on time and under budget. Sea lions are uh, natural habitants of the bay and have been here forever. Right after the earthquake that happened in October 1989, these sea lions started to show up in, in our K dock, which was all of the slips on the dock were privately owned and the animals began to haul out uh, more and more and more each day and the owners of those slips would come out off their boats early in the morning of dark and practically step on one of these large 800 pound animals. It became a problem. So we realized that the only thing that we could really do because these animals were going to keep coming clearly was to move these slip owners to other slips and kind of let these animals take over these docks, which in fact they did. And frankly, you can't get any closer to these animals anywhere in the world than right here at Pier 39. When you're done watching the sea lions splash around, check out the ferry building, which has been converted into a food lover's paradise. The ferry building has all kinds of food and it gives you a lot of variety. Rugby fans are, are hardy and so we've got a lot of hardy foods as well. So that will keep them happy and, and satisfied all day long. The ferry building has been around since the early 2000s and continues to just do artisanal type of food. So we're, we're keeping it very, very fresh. Uh, Quesa, which is a culinary educational program, helps a lot of people that are starting out to make food and gets them little booths here. So it's a nice way to support the local community and local food makers. If you're a sweet tooth like me, make sure you head down to Garadelli Square to try some of the nation's finest chocolate. Garadelli was founded in 1852 by our founder, Domingo Garadelli. He came to California to find gold, but instead he found chocolate here at Garadelli Square. We're known for our world famous hot fudge sundaes. They're made with handmade hot fudge that's made from real Garadelli chocolate every day here in our shops. I'm just gonna start showing you guys how we, what we include in our world famous hot fudge sundae. Basically starts off with two scoops of our vanilla ice cream and then topped with our world-famous hot fudge that we make fresh daily here at Ghirardelli Square. Topped with another scoop of vanilla. Uh, big scoop right there. Topped with another pump of our fudge. Topped with whipped cream. Nuts. And finally, cherry on top. And here you go. If you're anything like me, all this activity will leave you in need of refreshment. And there's few better places than Buena Vista. Make sure you try their Irish coffee. So the Irish coffee was uh, reinvented in 1952 by Oscar Delaplane. He uh, 
worked with a bartender in the Shanahan International Airport to reinvent it. And what that became was two sugar cubes, peerless uh, coffee out of Oakland. Want to emulsify the sugar, which is going to change the viscosity of the coffee. Then we're going to add two Lamadu Irish whiskey. Take some heavy whipping cream, you're going to whip it with a paddle wheel. Top it off right off the top. Now, what makes this unique is that the process allows you to have cold cream on top of hot coffee. And that's what gives the Irish, the Buena Vista Irish coffee its uniqueness. Enjoy. Cheers, guys. Fisherman's Wharf is just one part of this diverse city. To find out more, check out our other guides on World Rugby's social media channels. But until you arrive in our city, here's a few things to get you excited. This quick bike up. This dance move would clear an entire dance floor. One-on-one -on -one pirouettes for life for both defenders. Oh, that should be illegal. Perry Baker, you are outstanding. 